as Singapore will study how to protect the coastlines along the southwest coast and Sentosa Island against rising sea levels. National Water Agency PUB and Sentosa Development Corporation will lead the studies, which will begin by next year. Eugene Chow with more. The study at Sentosa covers about 16 kilometres of Singapore's coastline. It will take into account the island's role as a tourism destination. The study of the southwest coast spans about 116 kilometres from Tuas to Pasir Panjang. It will factor in the area's port facilities and recreational spaces, as well as upcoming development plans. PUB will also unveil coastal protection plans for parts of the city east coast in the second half of this year. They are the Greater Southern Waterfront and Changi. Studies will continue for the rest of the city east coast, as well as Jurong Island and the northwest coast. Studies for the north as well as northeast coast have yet to begin. Singapore will begin rolling out its coastal protection plans from 2030. The Sustainability and the Environment Ministry also plans to table legislation on coastal protection in the second half of this year. The bill will set out who should be responsible for such measures, including public agencies and private landowners. Singapore will also begin developing a national adaptation plan for climate change in line with international best practices. It will consolidate efforts for flood, coastal and heat resilience. In the face of increasing yet uncertain climate risks, the National Adaptation Plan will serve as a long-term living strategy for Singapore to continue thriving in the future. Through our ongoing and upcoming engagements, we hope to hear views from the community and stakeholders too. $25 million will be pumped into a research program to improve Singapore's weather prediction up to 48 hours ahead of time. This will help in plans to tackle extreme conditions like heat waves and thunderstorms arising from climate change. The program will also create detailed historical data over recent decades for Southeast Asia, the first of its kind in the region. Under this program, the Centre for Climate Research Singapore will collaborate with local IHLs and research institutes to incorporate the latest scientific and technological developments. For example, in the use of artificial intelligence to improve our ability to forecast better. 